Hey guys, just changing out the nectar for our hummingbirds here. Because like you, we love hummingbirds. But also like you, we hate houseflies. It's that time of year where houseflies are coming into the house again. We're gonna show you how to keep them out using a Ziploc bag and four pennies. Or if you've ever visited the South, you've probably seen bags of water hanging from people's porches with a few pennies in it. Uh, if you are from the South, you know exactly what those are. They're housefly repellents. If you're not from the South and you hear me tell you this, you think I sound crazy. Well, it actually works, okay? My, one of my uh, aunts and uncles had a farm when I was growing up and they did this in the summer. And I remember I used to sit there as a kid and stare at it and watch the glitters and the glares come off the pennies. And I asked them what it was and my aunt told me it kept flies out of the house. I was maybe seven or eight years old, so I believed it, I took her at her word, and I never questioned it. Well, last summer, we had a problem with flies at our house because we were keeping our chickens too close to the back door. So I remembered my aunt's bag of water with pennies in it from my childhood, but as a you know middle-aged man now, I just thought that was crazy and there was no way it would work. So I Googled it, uh, being the middle-aged nay naysayer that I've become, and what I found was that it actually works. I read a research paper from the University of Arkansas on it and as to why it works. So I'm gonna show you how to make it and show you how to hang it. And I'm gonna tell you why this works while I'm doing this, okay? It's very simple to make. You just simply take your bag, take your pennies, drop them in the bag, okay? Now, you're gonna need some water. Fill the bag about halfway full with water because you want to be able to tie off the top of it so you can suspend the bag from a secure location close to your door where the flies are coming in, okay? Now, as you know, the, the best way to, to keep them from, from coming towards your house is to not have anything around that attracts them. That's why we moved our chicken pen further away from the back door. You want to keep your kitchens clean, keep all the food picked up. You know, if you've got leftover food, hurry up and get it in the refrigerator, especially during the warm times of the month, spring, summer, early fall. Okay, so we've got our water in our bag with our pennies. I'm using my length of rope here and I'm simply tying it off really good. I didn't seal my bag shut. You don't necessarily have to do that as long as you tie it off good enough here with your rope. And I'm going to do two knots. Okay. So now I've got my pennies in the bag and we've got the rope. And what I'm trying to do here is catch the sunlight. You see that? My beautiful bride is recording this. So honey, can you see the, the glittery glare of the pennies yeah. coming through? Guys, this is how this works. When the flies come around your door and they come across this bag with the, the pennies in it, the sun reflects off of the pennies and refracts through the water. And to them, the pennies look like big giant eyes from some sort of predator. And I read this, like I said, on a research paper from the University of Arkansas. It's very similar to the eyes of a spider because it sees multiples of the pennies. We see four pennies. The flies see lights, light reflect, ref, reflecting off of dozens of pennies and re, as it refracts through the water. It creates that effect on the flies and the flies think it's a predator and they will stay very far away from this bag. So this is our front door and most of you will have some sort of light or some sort of other fixture close to your front door. Um, we even have a nail above our front door. That would be a good place. But just to show you how it's done, it's very simple. I'm going to use this light fixture here. Okay. I'm going to pull my rope through here and I'm just simply going to tie it off right here you want to make sure your fixture is going to hold it this will and i'm going to double knot it again and now the sun's still coming up it's only 7 30 here but uh, as the light hits this throughout the day it will refract off the pennies or reflect off the pennies refract through the water and make the flies think there's just this big giant enormous predator here waiting to eat them if they come even close to this door 
Did it work for us last summer? It did, or we wouldn't be showing you this and we wouldn't be doing it again this summer. So if you wanna keep the house flies out of your house this summer, use four pennies of plastic bags, some water, a length of rope. Get these up by your doors, your front door and your back door. And if you enjoyed this video and you learned something from it, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time from Homesteading Off the Grid.